As you start to use more actions in drafts, you're going to want to figure out how to organize them. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the actions button in the upper right corner. And you can see I've got these four tabs across the top with my various actions listed. I can make adjustments to how those are displayed and there's a couple ways to do that. The first is you can swipe across and tap on this button right here and you'll see that for each action you've got the ability to put it in different groups. In fact you can put it in more than one group if you want like I've got this one now in services and basic. So when I click done you'll see copy to clipboard is not just in basic but also over in services down here at the bottom. You can also change the arrangement of these groups just tap on the edit button and then I can tap edit at the bottom left corner and then I can move them around so I just put mark down on the bottom. Um, I can delete them if I want, I can rename them by just tapping that button. Uh, so all this is done right through this edit screen. I create a lot of drafts that deal with sending out text messages to people and groups of people. I always feel like those belong in social. So for instance, this one for text to team, I'll go ahead and swipe over, tap this button, and put it in the social and take it out of basic. And then it will disappear from one and show up in the other. You can also do that while editing the task itself, like this tell team I'm late uh, action. I'll go ahead and click the edit button. And you can see one of the options here is this action groups button. I'll go ahead and tap on that and you get the same screen. So once again, I'll put it on social and take it out of basic. In addition to moving the actions around, you can also duplicate them here by tapping the duplicate icon. You see I just duplicated this text to Lynette. You can also delete them by swiping to the left I'll go ahead and do that now. You can also search your actions with the little search icon button in the top right corner. Now while we're looking at the list, you can also perform edit functions on items in the list. And to do that, uh, I'm going to tap the edit button in the lower left corner. And you can see that gives me the ability to delete individual items. And I can also just grab these handles and move these items around if I want to resort them. Uh, I'm going to click the done button now and if I swipe over on any action you see I've got this edit button I'll go ahead and tap on that and that gives me the ability to rename it so I could say email to Jason let's say this is an action that just emails to Jason and I could also even change the color if I like so let's say I associate the color orange with Jason so I will tap the orange button click done done and you can see now the item has changed the color of the icon and a different name. Now just for giggles, let's change the actual icon. So I'll go over to the grocery list and tap the edit button again. And I can just tap on the icon itself. And then you can see it opens up this long list of potential icons that Drafts has built in. As you scroll down, you can see there are a lot of icons you can choose from. For my grocery list, I like this little shopping bag. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. And I'm going to turn that one to blue. Click done. And you can see now my grocery list has a more appropriate icon. Just spend a little bit of time organizing your actions and drafts will be even that much easier to use.